Hey, my name is Karen. I'm from the Little Egg Hatchery. We are out of the Corinth Holder area, um, Zebulon, North Carolina, and just wanted to share a few things with you guys. Um, our son decided somewhere in November that he wanted a couple chickens, so he brought some home, um, full grown chickens that were laying, and um, of course, we have discussed chickens before in the past, and my answer was no. I do not want crap everywhere, and I do not want um, to step in it. People bring it into my house, and I don't know what to do with chickens. The only kind of chickens that I know anything about is fried chicken or baked, barbecue, grilled. That's all I knew. Well, it's kind of grown on us. Um, little by little, we have grown to the point of where we probably, I would say now, have a good 50, 60, 70 chickens in the backyard alone, not to mention what we have now, what we are starting a business as um, a hatchery. So the name of our business is the Little Egg Hatchery. Um, we will be having merchandise for sale. We will be having um, informational things. We are learning as we go. We've watched videos from other people. Um, we're learning from asking advice from other people. And we want to be able to do the same thing for you. We want to be able to help you um, see how easy it can be, how addictive it can be. And it is very addictive. Um, but right now, I want to just take a, a minute to show you um, the babies. So... We have just, um, in starting March the 2nd, had our first batch of babies, and we have now had um, three batches of babies we have been selling. Um, so we've had three um, of our own from our backyard, and then we had eggs that we had purchased from um, someone who had fertile eggs, and we had our own um, Polish hens um, and, and roos. And um, so we have grown. Um, I do have people coming today to make a purchase, and we've been having people coming and hitting us up and purchase, purchasing um, from us. So, if you are interested in purchasing or having more information or just want to talk or ask questions, um, you're welcome to um, email us at thelittleegghatchery at yahoo.com, or you're welcome to find us as The Little Egg Hatchery on Facebook, and... Um, Ask us any questions, ask what we have available, when we'll have something else available. We are growing um, by leaps and bounds compared to November. Um, I would advise never start in November. Um, you always want to start probably around this time of the year. March would be a great time because the weather's changing. Um, that's when the hens really start laying. Um, that's when you know whether you have a good hen or a hen that's had its day and it's not going to do anymore so but first i just want to take you around we are um in our little chicken shack is what i call it it started out as our storage building it still is for the most part but we do have brooders in here now and so i want to start by showing you um our brooders our brooder area so let's see how we can do this if you can look down in sorry we have this box my husband made and it is full of our babies. And we have several different kinds in here alone. But what I'm most proud of myself is our backyard babies. And our backyard babies are um, the cutest to me because they were ours and I um, birthed these myself. So anyways, here is some of the babies that we birthed we hatched and they are just so cute and I do have one in a little dish over here who's sleeping I had to help him out of his shell which is another thing we'll discuss another day um, and it didn't turn out so great and I will tell you that this little chicks right here if you can see them they love drinking out of these water bottles like for rabbits and stuff if you can see that pretty clearly um, they love drinking out of these um, they like the noise it makes and if you just show your chicken to hit it one time the rest of them will absolutely follow yes I hear you I hear you okay so that's some of our babies these babies that I just showed you um, with the water bottle here um, these babies were just born in the last three days they were actually eggs that I was going to throw away from the incubator because they did not, um, they should have hatched like eight days ago. 
And I told my husband, I kept saying, I'm going to give them one more day, one more day. Because um, I had candled them. And I can talk to you about candling and things also. But um, they, we woke up the next morning. My husband says, there's four babies in there. And I'm like, four? And so I go in there and look. And sure enough, there's four. So I get them out, get, let them dry off and bring them out here. And then... Um, within another couple hours, there was two more in there, and then it has gone to where we eventually got 11 more out of the eggs I was going to throw away. So, the incubator still has eggs in it. I am not willing to give up on them yet. I will give them another day, but most likely, it, it, we won't give it any longer than that. Um, but here are some of our babies that, we, that were born on March the 2nd, and um, some the week after. But this is just a little bit of um, what we do have here anyways. Um, but here, I'll show you my babies. See? Can you see our babies? Hey, baby babies. You're all getting all scared. It's okay. It's just a camera. Yeah. And you don't want to get them too scared, so we don't do this too long. If you get them too scared, then that can mess their stomachs up, cause them to get pasty butt, um, which I'm going to talk about another time too. That is very gross and not something that I have enjoyed doing and told them that I would not be doing that at any point uh, once I found out about this issue. And I am the very one that does it only. So it does save your chick's life if you can do it and do it right. And you can do it wrong. And I will tell you about that too, because I have actually lost a baby check because I did not do it right. Um, so it, that broke my heart. But as of right now, this is what we have from our own backyard that we have hatched and we have more eggs in there. I do have three duck eggs that I'll be showing you later. Um, so those have to go a little bit longer and a little bit different. So I will show you about that eventually, too. I will just go ahead and show you. These are, are some of our babies that we really like. Um, our Polish and our O-Rust. And we were scared. We've lost a couple o rust lately. Um, I don't know if it's due to weather changes or if they fell off the, the perching um, thing up in the coop. We don't know. Um, but I will show you our babies now. Um, they're pretty big. But you can see... Um, here's our Polish babies. Here's one. Both of them here looking. And then our O-Rust is over here. So pretty. Polka dots. I love polka dots. So anything polka dotted, I love. And then our little O-Rust are right down here. Um, let's see if I can turn it this way. You can see. They're laying right beside each other. Like a little hubby and wife. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so this is the start of the little egg hatchery. Um, I'm hoping that you have friended us and I hope that you will follow us and like our, um, post. We have other farm animals that you will be hearing about on this, um, YouTube channel. And, um, I know I'm probably saying, um, a lot. I'm sorry. This is my first time ever videoing, but we are really having fun at this. And as long as you have fun at it, it's not a job. It is just it's a great hobby that you can make money at um, if you choose to or you can you know do it for the money you can sell the eggs you can hatch the eggs to begin with we knew we weren't having fertile eggs so we ate the eggs um, that took a little getting used to I told my husband to begin with I said honey if you want me to eat them eggs the best thing for you to do is cook them and don't tell me that you didn't use the ones that I purchased from the grocery store and just let me go at it like that. That way I will know, um, I won't know, and then I will eat them. And ever since then, I've been fine at eating them. Um, but we have chosen to stop the processing of eating and we're hatching. So we have a lot of Americanas. We're working on silkies. We've got Polish. We have um, Sapphire Gems. We have, um, we're working on, we have a pink um, silky roux and we have, um, some roos, uh, splash roos that we are working to try to get some good colors and, and stuff out of those. Along with, we have some um, Rhode Island reds that we're trying to 
to get hold of and get them to hatch and, and so forth. So we have a lot going on and I hope that you'll join us again. And again, like I said, we will be doing more posts um, as we go along. I'm learning about this and you will be hearing from other people in our family and friends that have farm stuff and they will be teaching you or talking to you more about what they did and what they do. So we're gonna do this on the chicken side because that's what we do as chickens and a lot of them. So. Thank you and for watching The Little Egg Hatchery, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, hopefully, we will have a whole lot more to go on, and we will be doing way more of these, and it was great seeing you all. Thank you.